Hey, bubbling, coming in, crushing this art. You already know. So today, what I'm going to be talking to is tarot, how I interpret it. I was going to start with a particular card that I drew because I want to do, um, you know, just a card every time I feel like. Um, but I thought before we do that, I would talk about more so... Um, how all the top cards sort of come together, right? And like the actual cipher of tarot. So how I interpret it is a lot um, um, along the lines of astrology. And I know there is a separation between tarot and astrology. So this is sort of an original way to interpret tarot. Um, the reason that I feel like it works is anytime that I do any sort of reading, I always keep into account balance, right? Such that I feel if we have a balanced system that can say yes, no, right? It can say personal objective, right? It can say both sides of the coin. Then we can get a sort of true interaction with truth, right? Um, it's my personal opinion. So, like, this means that any sort of, like, you could create your own form of divination, right? As long as it has a sort of balanced nature to it, right? Um, yeah. And also, it's really strange, though, this is just my personal perspective, because I know if you're just, um, this is kind of a side note, if you're just a very intuitive person, you may not even need to know, like, a very um, balanced, systematic structure in order to start reading or doing intuitive readings, right, because those messages may um, come through, but a lot of my style is um, through systematic delineations that give a sort of um, concrete explanation, right, which is very cool. In my opinion. So, yeah, moving a little bit forward, um, what would I like to talk about first? So, tarot has a number of astrological associations. You can find the decans, um, you know, you can find sort of astrological energies with the court cards. Like, I like to see, um, you know, um, them almost as like the elements within the elements, right? Um, is sort of my way of viewing it. Um, for example, we have like the um, king, fire, the knight, air, the page, earth, and the queen, uh, water, right? And the respective suits, right? Depending on your deck, it's like wands, swords, um, pentacles, and cups, right? Um, and yeah, so we can already start to see associations emerge when it comes to tarot and astrology, right? So this is how I sort of ended up synthesizing my symbolic understanding um, in a way that allowed me to um, interpret tarot, right? Which is I found really cool. So what then? And then there's also um, sign and um, correlations and planetary correlations. Um, I sort of use my own um, system because I know some people align like judgment with Pluto and I like to align it with Uranus and um, the fool I like to use with Pluto and some people align that with Uranus, right? So, um, you know, there are little things here and there, but I think for the most part, uh, you'd just be able to follow along broadly if you were just getting um, getting to know tarot. So that's really cool. So I guess the first thing first, um, which might just be good to do, is break down all of the associations more broadly. So I don't... I'm trying to think of a good way to do this. I might just come with me, if you will. So the first thing we can do... Let's look over here and sort of see the planets, and I'll tell you my tarot associations with them, right? So, what I have here is Pluto at the top. I know some people say it's Neptune, um, so just work with me here if you feel like it's different. Just, it's my associations, right? So I have Pluto at the top, which correlates to the Fool, and then Neptune would sort of be right here in the middle, right? Which would correlate to... Um, um, the hanged man and then we have Saturn here which will correlate to the world and then we would have Uranus here which would correlate to the um, judgment now we have the Sun correlating to the Sun 
Mars with the Tower, Jupiter with the Wheel of Fortune, Venus with the Empress, Mercury with the Magician, and the Moon with the High Priestess. Now come over to the Zodiac signs and I'll tell you their associations. We have Aries, which would be the Emperor, Taurus, the Hierophant, Gemini, the Lovers, Cancer, the Chariot, Leo, Strength, Virgo, the Hermit, Libra, um, um, what is it, like, I'm pretty sure it's like, it's like a form of judgment, I forget what the card is, um, but either way, it'll probably come to me, then we have Scorpio, Death, Sagittarius, Temperance, Capricorn, the Devil, Aquarius, the star, and Pisces, the moon. Um, man, I can't believe I forgot Bra's association. Um, yeah, it's like definitely a balance card, right? That might even be it. Like, it's something to do with, um, with balance. I, I forget that. Um, and all my cards are out of order, so I don't think I'd be able to find it real quick. Um, unfortunately, but, but there is a card there that has something to do with scale. <laughs> so either way, we start to see that there are a number of ways, a number of ways in order for us to, um, associate cards astrologically, right? So in a lot of way then, um, in a lot of ways, even though I'm doing readings, so it's not like, um, say an astrological transit. Because, personally, I use so much astrological symbolism, um, rather than purely drawing from something like imagery, is it does almost become like a sort of um, astrological divination, although it's not astrological, or it's astrological like with quotations because it's not using alignments, it's more so just creating a schema in front of you, right? Um, yeah. Can't believe I forgot the name of that card. <laughs> um, so moving forward, then I like to associate the minor arcana with the decans and sort of the um, the decans and the sort of our reasoning, like what we're doing, right? So for example, if we get a court card like the queen of fire, right? This is us opening up in a really passionate way, right? Or holding a very passionate space, right? Um, so that's like kind of what we're doing, right? Versus if we get a Deccan card, um, this is more so like a place that we're in, right? Um, like a physical mode of operation, right? One of the, the habits which would be like the bulk, right? The earth would be like the bulk. We'd have 36 of those um, because personally I um, use the aces with the court cards um, to create like sort of five elements and the ace would be like the spirit. And then we'd have, like I said, the king, the knight, you know, here's the ace and then the page and the queen making like a happy family. <clears throat> um... So yeah, so that would be like the air, right? The core cards. And then we, like I said, we'd have the decans, which would then do the 36, uh, would have 36 numbers, nine in each suit, right? One through nine of each of the um, um, suits. Then, going back a little bit, I view the signs as sort of like a space we're in, right? So versus a functioning like way of reality when we get to the decans would be like a particularized mode, right? Um, when we get a sign, it's very much a space or atmosphere we can draw from. And this to me is almost like having a having like a atmospheric space, like it's like ready to be interacted with, right? Versus now if we get a planet, this to me seems very potential, right? Versus when we got the court cards, it was like embodied, right? The planets are almost very potential. Uh, and this is just my view, right? So this sort of becomes like a four element breakup 
of the cards, right? We have the major arcana as fire and water and the minor arcana as air and earth, right? So the major arcana, fire and water, the fire would be the planets and the water would be the signs, the air would be the court cards and the earth would be the decans. Um, and so when we draw a planet, this is sort of real personal potential, right? Which is really cool. And there are the least of those, right? So it's like, um, kind of like, -na 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 -na, you won. You got that potential. <clears throat> so that's really cool. Um, yeah, so I think that about sums up how everything sort of links up together. So I'll leave that video at that. A hey, bubbling. <laughs>